What's up everybody? This is CryptoBox with another video. If you're new here, I make videos daily about blockchain games and NFTs. Subscribe if you're here to make some gains. Also, check my Discord and Telegram down below in the description. You can find me there, ask me questions, give me suggestions, and communicate with other people. So let's get started with a video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Zoo Crypto World and their staking and their new updates to their staking. So um, uh, right off the bat, you could tell that there's a V1 and there's a V2. So um, a lot of people had this problem or not this problem, but they were kind of shocked where they would open Zoo Crypto World and open the farm. And then they'd be like, where's my stakings? Like it's not showing their keys or words or nothing. They're staked amount. <clears throat> so they kind of just sit there and they don't know what what happened but then um sometimes they notice that there's a v1 version which was the older version uh where i made a video on how to stake um now you should probably take out your money from uh, v1 obviously because they're not really given any money I've, obviously you can see there's a zero percent apy on all pools so really there's no point in staking money here you can see people are still staking a lot of money here, like $26,000 in just BNB, $118,000 in just USDC and BUSD. So obviously, there's still some people that don't know this. And uh, $2 million is still staked, which is a lot of money. And obviously, um, you should probably withdraw that before... Um, you know, this Z1 or this V1 might shut down. So basically what you would do is you would collect your rewards by clicking the blue button here saying key and get keys and then you would do your transaction. After doing your transaction, go to withdraw and withdraw your max amount of money in whatever pool you are using. If you're using multiple pools, just take it out all out. But let's say you're on Zoo to BNB, which is, you know, one of the most famous ones and that's why it's on the top. Um, let's say you're right you're using this or you was using this and uh, now that this new update is out you're not getting any money so you want to withdraw basically what you do is take the key out then you withdraw withdraw the money now um you won't do the method where you'd go and pancake swap and uh ungroup the liquidity pool tokens don't do that because if you're gonna be doing the same staking on the v2 version just keep it keep the the liquidity because obviously you don't want to undo it and do it because it doesn't really change anything once you take it out you should have it saying balance here uh, for your like liquidity amount and this could be a combination number or whatever like this so like mine 7.5 7.54 um lp tokens obviously so that means that uh, it's just a combination type thing uh, the more money you invest, the more this would be higher, or the more tokens you have, the, this would be higher. Um, once you're in uh, taking out everything, basically what you're going to do is going to click approve on this pool. If you're using this pool, like I said, there'll be an, a, a big orange button here saying approve. You're going to click approve, and uh, you're going to pay a small gas fee of like 10 cents or something like that. Uh, once you're done doing that, you're going to deposit. Now, this is the same thing. You got the same deposit description where if you withdrawn your money in seven days or less, obviously, you're getting a fee charged on you, which is 0.5% approximately. And um, the longer you stake, obviously, the less of a fee they would charge you. Then you would click deposit. And basically, that's it for restaking and getting this APY. Now, obviously, the average APY here is 1742%. 1, but obviously, when you click down uh, after staking, you'll see your APY is 332%. So this is basically what Mobox did exactly like Mobox. Literally no difference uh, from Mobox. So basically, uh, they do this thing where you would click on the Zoo Booster and you would stake your money but you would actually lock your money here for a certain amount of time and you can do it for like uh like as much as you want so if you want 3x uh, for one year you have to have uh 202 tokens staked here but for three years this would be locked by the way like i said you'd need this many zoo tokens so basically i would get this much apy which is 7833 percent which is obviously really insane. So that's what I want. Obviously, that's what I want. And so what I'll do is I'll take this much zoo. So basically, I'll get 68 zoo tokens here. 
by uh, refreshing this because it seems like Pancake Swap is kind of broken right now. Um, unfortunately, Pancake Swap and other websites like Coin Market Cap are having trouble. I guess. Um, I don't know what's going on with the network here, but it's not loading at all. You can see so. I'm back now from a couple of days later. Obviously, I haven't uploaded in two days or so since um, I've had some issues here and there with uh, my MetaMask and network issues. And now I'm back. I can make videos once again. So at that time, um, obviously, I had network issues and I couldn't load PancakeSwap or anything really. Um, nothing was working. So um, basically back now and I'm going to continue the video from here on. So, um, a few things have changed. Obviously, uh, you can see here that three times APY has plummeted a bit down now. Uh, obviously, that 4,200 is still a lot. And uh, I'm, I am still want that. And uh, I'm going to try to get that. So, here you can click on Zoo Booster three times, like I said, I wanted to do. And you can see here it's 72 tokens. So, basically, what I would have to do is go to PancakeSwap, get myself 72 tokens. Or I'll round it up to 73 tokens. And then I'll basically approve it here. And uh, if you if you want to add more money for staking into the Zoo platform, please do that before uh, boosting. Because the more money you stake, um, the more tokens you're gonna have to pay for boosting. So um, let's say you put your your tokens now for boosting, and then you add money later on, that will go down to like two times or. 1.5 times or 2.5 times and uh, obviously it's not going to be three times and uh, sometimes it just goes all the way by all the way back down to one times and you basically have your tokens stuck here because of how much you've added more so don't do don't make that mistake but i know this from other people's experience and so i'm just telling you this uh, this also happened in mobox the same thing can happen in zoo um basically so i need 73 uh, zoo tokens so what i'm gonna do is go to pancake swap i'm gonna go from you know swapping busc to zoo tokens let's say here and basically i need right here it says 72 so i'm gonna round it up to 73 so that would be about 31 dollars as of right now i gotta get rid of this uh and make it 0.5 slippage tolerance that's basically what it's normally at and what it should be at that's all i need i'm gonna click swap Confirm swap and I want 73 zoo tokens. You pay your gas fee. Once you've gotten your zoo tokens, you will head back to the platform. Um, sometimes it takes a while to maybe register that you have now zoo tokens or you added more. Uh, so beat up the process by maybe refreshing the page and uh, that will be way faster. Sometimes it doesn't recognize that you have those tokens. Sometimes it's instant. There you go. I have 73 zoo tokens just to confirm. What you want to do is go into assets and look for your zoo tokens if it's not showing up you're gonna obviously have to add the coin but there it is 73 i'm gonna go back to zoo crypto world just refresh the page just to be safe you don't have to but i'm trying to be safe around here um we're gonna go here and then three times uh three years and three times we're gonna have to approve because um you have to approve for the pool uh, these are just some required steps part of most platforms where you're going to have to approve through some of these steps like approving on a pool or something like that, approving to buy an item. Uh, that's basically just about every platform on Binance Smart Chain. So we're just going to wait for this to approve and just like that it's done. So basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click stake the whatever this amount of tokens to get that three times amount. So click stake, pay your fee. That looks like a fee a little higher over average, but obviously uh, the more tokens or coins you're staking here, preferably um, it's going to be, you know, higher priced. And unfortunately it works like that way, uh, but that's just how Binance Smart Chain works. So there you go. Now I'm done staking. Uh, you can see it's on 2.9 times uh, of whatever APY I'm supposed to get so I'm just gonna refresh the page you don't have to but I'm just gonna refresh the page and uh, You're gonna make sure everything loads in and you're gonna see here your APY So as you can see my APY is now 4078% and um, Just by going through all of those steps you'll be able to get yourself this much APY 
Now, if you want to calculate, uh, you can check out my other staking videos on Zoo. I have a whole playlist dedicated to Zoo and Mobox and other platforms, so please check that out if you need any help. Uh, check my Discord or my Telegram. On my Discord, you can privately DM me or on my Telegram and uh, tell me what do you think about Zoo's new V2 staking. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment what you want for the next video, and what game recommend.